Offshore Energy 4.0 Interblock Limited, Interview. Lifting and the use of cranes is fundamental during construction, operation and decommissioning of infrastructure across the energy sector. Lack of visibility during crane lifting operations can cause accidents and impact project schedules. Combining digital technology with the development of new skills will create a safer and more efficient working environment. Interblock Limited has developed Interview, a wireless camera, both ATEX and non-ATEX rated, which is mounted on the crane block and connects to a display unit located in the crane operator's cab. Images are displayed in real time on a high definition screen with the technology incorporating a people tracking function. This alerts the crane operator to potential hazards and ensures they have full line of sight during operations, avoiding blind lifts and collisions with objects and people. This innovative camera system is battery powered and easily retrofitted to any crane. Unlike wired systems, Interview does not require specialist vendors to travel to site. This also avoids the need to shut down the crane for fitting. It can be fitted using magnets and lanyards in minutes rather than hours. This technology is proven to reduce the time taken per lift, the reliance on radio communication and the number of banksmen required, culminating in estimated total annual savings of £3.2 million across the UKCS. As we create the energy basin of the future, Interview will ensure safer installation of wind turbines and other infrastructure, lowering the number and severity of lifting incidents. FlyLogix – Remote Methane Detection The UK oil and gas industry is committed to halving operational emissions by 2030. Eliminating methane leakage will be crucial to achieving this target. However, there is currently limited capability to measure methane emissions from individual offshore assets, with reporting based on estimates creating significant measurement uncertainty. FlyLogix, in partnership with CCOPS, has developed a pioneering methane measurement and quantification technology, integrated with an autonomous unmanned aerial system. The fixed wing drone is mobilized from shore and can fly up to 600 kilometers beyond visual line of sight to an offshore facility. Measurements taken using a highly sensitive miniaturized laser spectrometer are captured from a distance of 250 meters from the asset, optimizing accuracy whilst minimizing disruption. In a single flight, the technology captures over 90,000 data points of methane concentration. Data is fed back via satellite to enable real-time viewing. Further, post-flight analysis determines the methane emission rates from the facility, which can then be used to validate calculated estimates. Routine methane monitoring is enabling operators to accurately measure, monitor and report on emissions, demonstrating the gold standard for measurement and evidencing clear ESG value. No persons are required offshore and the technology uses 98% less fuel than an offshore helicopter, making it greener, safer and more cost-effective than other alternatives. Currently, the solution is already being deployed by operators responsible for 50% of all UKCS producing assets. An annual measurement campaign from FlyLogix could save £140,000 per asset and potentially £17.6 million annually across the UKCS, assuming a 25% uptake within the industry.
journey with NZTC started with the TechX uh, Business Accelerator, which was a fantastic experience. I mean, they literally set up 30 customer interviews for us, which was really our first engagement within the, the oil and gas and, and you know energy transition area. And since then, they've been supporting our technology project, uh, Renewables for Subsea Power, through one of the solution centers where we're engaging with operators and, and ultimately we're going to do a field trial this year deploying our wave energy technology with uh, operators and partners and, and subsea equipment. I think the, the NCTC has really been instrumental in connecting technology developers like us with industry, uh, giving us opportunities to do collaborative projects with major operators. I think the Renewables for Subsea Power Project is a prime example of this. You know, the, the sort of funding required uh, for the project is not something we could have put forward on our own or just been funded directly by a single operator. But with the NZTC support, we're bringing in um, you know support from from multiple operators, partners, and and we're able to do a really exciting project. Uh, we really feel like the the environment has changed dramatically over the past few years. There's so much more interest and intention from these bigger industrial companies around the energy transition and supporting renewables. And we as a company are really looking to scale and to grow. We think this is our time to, uh, to grow the company, to start doing bigger projects, building bigger technologies, have, have, have a bigger team, and just really uh, you know, capitalize on this, uh, this opportunity to um, you know, protect our oceans and decarbonize the planet.